We will not allow NATO's borders to come closer to our country. But how can we stop it? We can't interfere in the international relations of other countries. Don't worry, I've already got it all figured out. We will bring our own borders closer. <laughs> Wait, where is the sense in that? <sighs> okay, let me explain. Did we used to be friends with you? The good old days of anti-terrorism. I even still have a chair from those times. Right, then why did you need to put missiles along the borders? What missiles? Oh, these missiles? Well, we are a military alliance. We have to protect our borders. Why did you need to bomb Yugoslavia? Why did you need to invade Ossetia? Why did you need to stick your nose into Georgia? Why did you need to annex Crimea? Why did you need to create an alliance for a war with the USSR? Maybe we are concerned about our security! Maybe we do as well! So, we should just drop everything and build up mutual security relations! Oh, tell me also, shall we sit down at the negotiation table? Come to an agreement? Stop the bloodshed? Resume trade? Yeah, and we'll take you, Russia, into NATO together with Ukraine and Georgia. Yeah, we'll invite China too. We'll sit together and negotiate to promote technologies to put the world out of this crap. And it sounds pretty good. It really does. We've really made a mess. That's right. So why don't we stop destroying and start creating? Sure, why not? We live on the same planet after all. And then perhaps we'll be able to reconcile Central Asia as well. And we'll give them internet, water, and agronomy. And everyone lived happily ever after. And no one was at war with anyone anymore. <sighs> the USSR has shown what he is capable of. He is strong, he is armed, and he can be a danger to us. So what? You and I also actively participated in the war. Anyway, I suggest that we unite to guarantee the safety of every member of our alliance from war. Or in the case, the USSR has something on his mind. Hey guys, what's the meeting you're having? Hey, we decided to come together as a community where everyone would protect each other. Sounds great. Can I join you? No! Whatever. Screw it. I don't want to join your stupid club for losers. Hey guys, I want to join you. <gasps> you won't join anything. <gasps> Let me go! So that's the way it was. Guys, can I sit here? Of course, why not? I thought we were friends. And now you're having fun with these jerks. You asked for it. Ouch, ouch. Ah! Maybe we should help this little guy. No, he is not in our club. He didn't ask for help. I don't want to get our asses kicked because of him. Hey, would you like to join our club? What kind of club is this? NATO! New Adventurous and Tremendous Operation! But uh, it doesn't make any sense. No one cares. Do you want to join or not? But what's the point? Well, look, your neighbor's getting beaten up. And if he was a NATO member, we'd protect him. They are neighbors. They'll sort it out on their own. Why should they even bother me? Leave me the hell alone! That's not fair! Hey, be careful! Shut up! Ouch! 
Guys, I want to join your stupid club. Do you guys all agree to accept him? Yes. yes. Actually, I don't agree. How could that be? Russia, now your flag has three colors, white, blue, and red. But it used to be completely red. How did that happen? Well, you know, once upon a time, my friends and I were one country. Do you remember? We were called the USSR and you and the other European countries were afraid of us. And yet, why did you split? Ooh, ooh, can I explain him? Uh, here we go again. Go ahead. It all started when our country stopped developing and the growth stalled. We call it the era of stagnation. Then Gorbachev came and said that we are going to rebuild the country. And then the Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded. First, the countries got frightened. And second, it was unclear how to live in new conditions. And then things started getting crazy. Baltics went completely insane, threw our flag and changed their aim. Lithuania wanted to be on its own, Czechoslovakia asked to leave them alone, Poland and Hungary and even Romania, Estonia, Latvia, Georgia, Belarus and Ukraine. Everyone no more was the same. And when even Russia itself has seceded from the Soviet Union, I was still part of the SSSR and left only four days later. Where did you guys go? Another one! USA! Russia is shooting their missiles everywhere! First Ukraine and now they're coming to you? Are you completely out of your mind? Bombing a NATO country? What country? Don't play dumb! Pull it! I didn't do anything. That's it! This is no longer a joke! I've got one of those as well. <laughs> oh, the batteries are dead. I need to buy new ones. Can I get two batteries, please? That will be five marks. But I only have guilders. Go to an exchange office. In our little town there is only one. Go straight ahead for kilometers. Okay, we need to do something about that. Buddy, you and I are both Europeans. We live next door to each other. So do Austria, Belgium, Germany. Greece, Denmark, Ireland, Spain, Italy... I understand it! What do you suggest? I suggest uniting all European countries. What did you say? Uniting? Yes, so that we could use one currency and simplify trade. And make it easier to cross borders. Yes. Oh, you decided to have a party. I'm in. No, it's not really a party. We'll put flags and lights everywhere. Let's order some pizza. Uh, okay, whatever you say. All right, neighbors, let's unite. Hooray! No, we are one community. So we are not just Europe, but the European Union. So, when we are going to have a party? Once again, it's not a party. It's much cooler and more important. Well, then I'm out of your stupid alliance. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. The new video is already on the channel.